Hello everyone, my name is a Jurassic Insider, and welcome back to Jurassic World The Game. This is the first episode of the 400, so welcome in. It's a brand new era, 401. We're going strong. Can you imagine that? 400 freaking episodes. I don't know how we got here. Anyways, we're just jumping right into it because if, if you couldn't tell already, which you probably couldn't, but just in case you can't, or you, you yeah, just in case you can't, uh, we're... We're doing the Gorgas Suches tournament, so the Gorgas Suches tournament is already over by far. Like, it's been a couple days. However, I was actually in London when it did come out, so today I decided I was gonna come back in and I was gonna do, I was gonna go over the recording because I want to record a little bit of it. So I didn't record much. I don't even think I got to Predator League in this clip. This was like from Survivor to Hunter ish. But I just wanted to record a little bit of it, just chill with you and talk about the tournament because, yeah, some interesting things happened because. I underestimated how tough it was going to be, but it was 2.5 thousand cups, and I think a couple of the tourneys have been like that, 2.5 thousand cups. However, this one in particular was extremely difficult, I found, and I actually got to the point where I was left with about 30 minutes, and I was outside. I wasn't in my hotel room, and I was in the top of Predator, so I wasn't near Dominator yet. And that meant that I needed in 30 minutes to get there, and I didn't have service. So I connected to my dad's hotspot, and then I, like, finished it in 20 minutes. Like, like literally zoomed through it as fast as I possibly could. It was, it was, it was close. It was a close call. I think it's the closest I've ever been. And I was, like, literally to the point where I was like, oh, shoot, we're not going to make it, are we? So I went ahead and prepared my brain, and I was like, okay. I was ready for the video where I was just going to be like, Hey guys, what's going on? Didn't win the Gorg suit, just sorry about that. Uh, but no, we, we did it, we did it. And I think that should be at the end of this video too, whenever I open the uh, Gorg suit just pack. And we'll see that, it'll be beautiful. It was a beautiful pack. And Gorg suit just is here, baby. And I'm so excited for this hybrid. I've mentioned in the past that I will not be buying duplicates of these hybrids just because they were like, not even in the range. I guess Terraquetzal and... I forgot the other one, Gorgasuchus. Those two are both somewhat in the range. I think Gorgasuchus is about 40,000 DNA, which is not too much more than the regular legendary hybrids. Terraquatso is maybe 50,000-ish. The other two are at least 70,000, so they're insanely expensive. And we just have so many of them that I really had to prioritize which ones I would evolve. And at that point, I feel like they'd be too strong. Like, I just wouldn't use them, you know? And I feel like at level 10... Again, Pachygalosaurus, since episode 100, has been my strongest dino, just because we got it on a whim. I just kind of think that's what it's going to be like, and I think the landscape is changing, where I'm going to start getting a lot more hybrids instead of these tournament hybrids that I got from tournaments. So, I don't know, if you guys want to go ahead and, like, duplicate your creatures, I'd recommend it if you have an account that's over level 80. Actually, you know what, forget, forget game level, that doesn't matter. It's really about what your park looks like right now and how many of these tournaments are you, are you doing. For me, I'm doing every single one of them. I've done all four. Mega Archelon is coming soon. And I think, I'm assuming Glothornax is still coming. I don't know. Because Mega Archelon wasn't on the calendar. Um, so maybe they replaced it with Mega Archelon. But I think Glothornax is... I, I don't know, though. Because now they're moving on to Aquatic. So if my guess is that next they're doing a Reef. Because... Mega Archelon is a surface, so I'm assuming they're doing a reef or maybe a cave next. I don't know. That's what my assumption would be before they circle back, or if they do even circle back for a while now. <laughs> but yeah, I don't actually know if I won this first battle. I think I, I think I did. Yeah, with Dimorphodon here, we were about Survivor, so I was putting in level one legendaries. That's usually what I do. Like Hatchling, obviously the commons. Sometimes I put in rares, and then I, th most of the time you don't even get to predator or not predator sorry prey i think it's called yeah prey prey is the blue one what's the next one survivor survivor is the red one survivor i think i yeah that's what i'm in right now usually like level one legendaries maxed rares that's about all you really need at least in my experience that's what i think at least i don't know <laughs> I think I wanted just like that. I think that's the first battle, probably, maybe. I'm not sure. I didn't exactly check. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention. That's what tends to happen whenever I re-record. But I think it's fine. I think we, we do a lot of battles on this channel, so nothing too special here other than it's a tournament, and it's a very awesome tournament. And I believe this is from the first day as well. I don't think this was from the third day. I didn't record anything on the second or third days just because... It was, I was under a crunch. I was, you know, definitely trying to get it done, especially on the third day, uh, Monday morning, where I had a big problem, but 
I figured it out. We did okay, and we won it at the very least, which is well, all that matters right now. So, that was pretty awesome. And yeah, here I'm doing level 40 rares. I think I'm going to pop in. Probably a cap. No, I put in a cool suit just. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, I think we're good with that. And, uh, yeah. Hope you're all having a good, good day. Because I know I am. And this battle, I remember, was not too bad. I don't, it doesn't look that bad. I don't know. I, it's been a while since I recorded this, so I think it was like nearly a week ago almost, so it's been a hot second. It's been a hot second since you guys have seen a video. I wanted to let episode 400 sit in a little, sit a little bit, just uh, let it accumulate in so people can actually end up seeing the video and, you know, seeing it, because, you know, that was something I've been building up for a while. I wanted people to see it, you know, people, all the, basically all the commenters of the channel to at least get a chance to see it along with, you know, regular new viewers or whatever, you know. Just kind of let everybody see it, and that is going great, and I'm happy for it. I'm very, very happy for it. I'm happy for you guys, because you guys are still really creeping on. Really creeping? Creeping's not a... That doesn't make sense at all. I don't know why I said that. You guys are really freaking awesome. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Heck yeah. Here's Beta, by the way. Look at Beta. She's such a cutie, isn't it? Is it a he or she? I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> my cousin told me uh, he watched my videos for the first time and he said that he said everything was normal about my channel like he understands that obviously like whatever we do this i have to nerd out a little bit like i gotta talk about the game um and we, I, I nerd out more here than i do in real life i think you guys could tell that that i don't go around talking about jurassic world the game in real life i have one friend who does play it actually but otherwise i don't really talk about it all that much and i don't talk about youtube at all but like <laughs> the only thing he said was weird is the fact that I kept calling, or the way I personify dinosaurs in this game, and he just thought it was very strange that I would have, not names for it, but like, I don't know, I don't know what I would say, but like, I think I called, um, the video he watched, I called, what did I call, I called Labyrinth Adontia, you know, the little common amphibian, I called it cute just because it had like the super smooth skin and those beady eyes, and I called it cute, and it was like, okay, that's a bit too far, bro. And I was like, yeah, I know. But I don't know. I do it anyways, because that's, that's the truth. You got to get a little bit weird, okay? Otherwise, it's not fun. I, I don't actually think it's cute. It would probably eat me in real life. But you know what? They're dinosaurs in, in a game, or prehistoric animals in a game. And there's Hunter League. Wonderful. And I'm pretty sure I'm Hunter League for the rest of the video. I don't think we switch up all that much at all, which is okay. At least that's what I think. And of course, the prizes are terrible as always. <laughs> yeah, but it's pretty awesome. And also, I think this video, this video, you guys will get this video pretty soon, I think. Hopefully, I'm trying to work, again, I'm trying to work out the upload schedule. If you don't know already, I'm going to India. I know, I just came back from London, but I'm going to another trip. And yeah, I'll, I'll be outside and won't be here anymore. So, yeah. That'll make videos really difficult because I can't just do that. Oh, by the way, I, if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I think I'm, I think I needed to evolve Brachiosaurus because I had to, I got another Brachiosaurus and I think I wanted to not evolve it, but at least get it to level 10. I don't know where I got the Brachy from, but I know I, I know I had a second one, but I didn't feed it yet. We'll evolve the Brachy. We need to evolve Brachy and Blue. I got a second Blue as well. We also need to do Clash of Titans for Brachy, so that'll give us a third Brachy. And then... I think I'll get a fourth Bracky. We gotta come up with a better name for Bracky. Bracky's not a very good name at all. <laughs> I just always take, like, the first couple letters and then E or O, Y, you know, something like that. There it is. It's gorgeous. Look at this amazing shot of the Bracky whenever it comes back. Look at that. Holy crap. They went hard with that. I love it. It's so awesome. So, yeah, at some point, we'll probably do that. I think I'm, I'm okay with getting a level 30 Bracky. I don't really need her before us, though, but... You know, as we're getting stronger other creatures, that's the thing. As you're getting stronger creatures for other classes, you need to work on every class because then everything becomes harder. Your battles get harder. Your battles are not based off uh, your level. Your le that's a common myth. It's not based off your level at all. If I, like, went really hard and got, like, every creature I possibly could, spent all my DNA, immediately, it, immediately I would see effects. Like, it would immediately make my creatures tougher. So... Maybe it, it may have a little bit to do with the level, but I don't think so. Everything from my experience and from other people's experience, it's, it's points all towards, it's all about the ferocity, total ferocity. 
which means that it's all about quantity over quality. In this game, I prefer quantity over quality. However, the downside to quantity is, for example, and this is this, I think this is the best example I can think, is a lot of people get super hybrids, but they don't fuse them. A lot of people don't fuse creatures nowadays anyways, like general hybrids and stuff. Like a lot of people have a bunch of level 10 Indominuses, which is a decent strategy because it gives you like, again, more quantity. However, that will not decrease. You'll actually, so say you have four Indominus Rexes at level 10. A level 30 will actually have less ferocity than those four level 10s. I mean, if you just, if you do the math, because a level 30 is not four times stronger than a level 10. It's not even three times stronger, I wouldn't think. I don't, I don't think so, at least. Uh, right? 1,400 health times three would be like 4,500. Yeah, that's, that's already way too much. That's, that's not what it is. So those four individual ones will actually have more ferocity. So you got to keep that in mind. If you're really, really into like keeping your opponents like reasonable. Yeah, for me, it doesn't matter as much. I struggled. I think at the beginning of the game, it's a big struggle trying to find that balance because a lot of times you'll be, we will be faced against creatures that you just cannot defeat no matter what unless you put in like your very best creatures now i think once you get a little bit higher level at my level there's never a battle that i can't defeat like i even ignoring pachyallosaurus right who definitely brings up my ferocity counter i don't i pretty much never actually need pachyallosaurus i just use pachyallosaurus as a sweep if i'm like oh i i don't have any more creatures left dang dang it just forget it they'll use pachyallosaurus but I, I don't really use it all that much. And it doesn't bring up my Ferocity counter so much that it, like, completely breaks it. Like, my second strongest Mastodontosaurus. And it's no Pachygalosaurus at level 20. But it's, it's pretty good. And I think we did pretty good on this battle. Yeah, we literally didn't lose a single creature. We went overkill, actually, which is pretty surprising. This, this it wasn't hard, by the way. The tournament wasn't hard. It was just a lot of cups. And especially considering that I wasn't there <laughs> for most days. I think m most days I barely do anything on Saturday. I try to get in on Friday and then I convince myself to do something on Saturday. Don't end up doing it. Like what I'm doing today. Like the Aaron Burn Greenia tournament is out. I don't care about it, but it, somebody told me on the Discord that it's only 1.3 thousand cups. So yeah, try it out if you can, because that's not a lot at all. Uh, still, you got to work a little bit. You know, I think that's, well, if you divide it by 30, that's still, that's a lot, right? That's like maybe, I think... I don't know. I can't do the math. <laughs> I can't do the math. I'd say, like, if I had to guess, like, 35 battles, maybe? Because you get a little bit more than 30. Uh, so, I guess something like that, maybe. And that's around the cutoff. That's what he says, at least. Normally, it's, like, double that. 2.5 thousand was the cutoff, like I said, for Gorgo. Gorgo. What are we going to call it? Because we call Gorgas Suchas, or Gorgosaurus, Gorgeous Gorgon. So, we got to call something this. I hope you guys enjoyed this like more rambling style. This will be every episode, obviously, just because this is just kind of more of a podcast episode, as I like to call these, where we just record over a piece of media that I already have pre-installed or pre-recorded, I guess I should say. And I just sort of just talk and have fun. And I, I love talking to you guys. And I know this is like not a super exciting way to start the 400s, but I got to put this somewhere and I wanted to go in and get it out of the way because otherwise, like, why would I put the Gorgas Suchas tournament like three weeks after, you know? As I said, I'm going to be spacing out my uploads just like I did in London. In London, I was able to do every other day until about the end of the trip where it became like a big gap because again, episode 400 had a big gap after and then this and the next episode coming out nearly a week later. But I really don't know. It's not going to be every other day, I don't think. I'm going to try my best. Maybe, maybe. That's only... I'm only there for 20 days. So, like, 10 episodes over that span doesn't sound completely unreasonable at first. But it is a lot. I'll admit. It all comes down to editing, dude. If I could just record and chuck out videos, it would be so easy. It really would. I'm saying dude as if I'm talking to one person. That's how you got to think it, though. This is, this, is, this is the Jurassic Insider talking to you. You special person right there. We should definitely click the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed and you're watching this far, man, come on. You, you gotta be better than that. You gotta be better than that. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you're not subscribed. I don't care, really. I love it if you do, but I am very, very happy with all of you. You guys have been absolutely beautiful to me. You guys have been fantastic to me, I should say. It's probably a better adjective. And I cannot wait to see where we go in the future. If I had to guess, I'd say if we... I knew I'd probably get to episode 400 at some point, but if I had to guess what I'd be at, like, in subscriber count, I'd say, like, 
I like maybe like let's say even like six months ago, like at the beginning of the year, I would say like I just hit like four hundred subs or something, like nearly double that almost. Well, no, we're not quite at eight hundred, but we're getting there for sure. And one day, one day, we'll get to a thousand. I, re- I actually, I was recently rewatching a video because I like to rewatch my videos from time to time. Uh, not because I like to humor myself, but because I, I don't know, I just want to check up and see where we can improve. Uh, what we did like a couple months ago to kind of, and sometimes it gives me motivation, weirdly enough, to see uh, where we were. So I don't know. Sometimes I, I feel like that's the appropriate thing to do. But whatever. I was uh, watching that one, and it uh, came to my knowledge that I said in there like this was like four months ago, and I said one day we'll get to 500 subscribers, way way into the future. And I was like, there's no way I said that four months ago. But no, it's true. You guys have been absolutely smashing the heck out of the sub button. I think 400s and 600s of, like, during that sub period, like, 400 to 600, like, we absolutely, like, flew through that. I don't think that was, like, a problem at all. Um, and we are continuing to go very fast. And there, Monolopasaurus, I think, was the only one needed to win that one, if I'm not mistaken. I was, again, was not paying attention, but there we go. And I think that gets us a little bit higher. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Maybe we do get to Predator in this video, because... It says I still have eight minutes left on... No, six six minutes. Yeah, there we go. Sorry. Six minutes left on this clip. Yeah, people are blowing up the Discord right now. I'm getting notifications every freaking second. Uh, I think... Uh, no, no, no we're, no. we're not done. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. I was uh, a bit confused there, but... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hope you guys like this content. I know this is a bit slower paced, especially to start off the 400s, but... Yeah, I enjoy it myself. I enjoy myself. Just talking to you guys. And yeah, so I think this one we are going in for... I think we start tournament creatures there. The biggest struggle is always finding that Terrasaur Amphibian. Because I like to do Herbivore first. Obviously, Flock creatures are the best, but I don't have infinite Flocks. Nobody does. I mean, maybe you. I don't know. But I don't, none of the Flock creatures have been released, like tournaments or anything. Collector's Exchange. Not even the... Not even the tournament creature ones. I think, well, the, the only one that's not a tournament creature is comps, Compies, so. Yeah, but I think to do Herbivore, then Carnivore, then Pterosaur Amphibian. The Pterosaur Amphibian, though, is just... Especially Amphibian, dude. I feel like every time I put in a Pterosaur, I need an Amphibian. Every time I put in an Amphibian, I need a Pterosaur. It's like my terrible luck. <laughs> but I do get... I have been getting really lucky in terms of card back. I know a lot of people have been pointing out, like... Whenever I say that I'm, I'm very unlucky in this game, people are always pointing out, like, no, you're not. <laughs> and they're, like, or they're at least comparing it to something that they've done in the past or, like, how, how their, whatever, like, their luck is. And, you know, I understand that. We have been getting very lucky, I feel like. Like, the two tournament, uh, not tournament, sorry, the two legendary hybrid creatures, like the Cool Citrus and the Pritrodon that we just got out of him and the Ragistega we got ages ago. And actually, that Indominus Rex has a day left, so I was actually going to do that for, like, episode, like, 220 or later, but we'll go ahead and move it up, because I'm, I think I'm, a, yeah, I'm about done doing the, that's, that's the other thing that I really want to change in the 400s, I'm trying to improve it, is not pushing episodes to, like, a round number. I'm going to be doing it a little bit, but I'm going to bring it up. I'm not going to plan it out ahead of time, I'm just, as soon as I do it, I'm just going to move it to the next closest like milestone number but it doesn't matter even if i do the anomalous rex level 20 like episode two or 407 it doesn't matter it really doesn't big occasions obviously like very very big occasions but you know i just i think i gotta relax a little bit (laughs) sort of just i mean i want to take things seriously obviously but yeah i don't know i don't know let me know what you guys think because i think that's the biggest moral that you guys have been teaching me over my time here uh, on YouTube is that I just kind of need to like go with the flow a little bit, you know, just get good creatures. Just uh, do whatever I want, whenever I want, considering the amount of resources I have. I have a lot. I think this video shows 412,000 DNA. I actually think I have like 470,000 DNA after the season pass and everything we did. Um, So we have a lot. We really do, and I'm very, very happy about that. So we'll spend something. We'll definitely try to get some good things. 
again, this is mostly just a time for me to kind of talk to you guys, to let me know your plans, and also, like, sort of uh, figure things out for the 400s. I'm going to change some stylistic things, like, especially the video description needs to change for sure, because that thing is outdated as heck. I think it has the old Discord server link in it, too, so that needs to be changed and replaced with the new one, obviously. And then I'm going to really try... I, I'm not... I'm actually not very happy with the opening logo of these videos. The aquatic one is fine. The aquatic sun is oak one is fine. And the one I, I use CapCut and CapCut makes things very convenient. It's very easy to use, but it's not like the best. And it, it just, it, it, I, sometimes I visualize things in my head and there's ways to do it on CapCut, like do these editing tricks, especially for that opening logo. And I want to try to do that, but it just takes so much time and the way these come out are very fast paced it's just difficult sometimes to get that but maybe i'll find a nice middle ground but i'm going to try to come up with some interesting opening animation that i can repeat not too difficultly at least to make it to the point where it has continuity like it's not different every time like and there's no slight difference because that will make drive me crazy and <laughs> that will drive me absolutely insane i have probably i say i'm in like the top one percentile of ocd people like, I, I don't even think I actually have over-compulsive disorder. Maybe I do, I don't even know, but I definitely feel like I do a lot of the times. But I'm just not diagnosed. I don't know, I feel like it's, I always don't like it when, or it, it doesn't bother me that much, but it's just something that I, I'm always like, come on, whenever somebody, like, self-diagnoses them with, like, actual medical diseases. Not diseases, but conditions, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> Uh. Oh, this is Aerotitan level 30, which I think I just recently got. Yeah, Aerotitan is going to be a struggle to get maxed. Because I want to get every super rare maxed at some point, because we're pretty close. But Aerotitan is actually the biggest problem, because Aerotitan, you can't unlock him. It's the only creature that's not a tournament creature, or at least a Jurassic creature, I think, that can't be unlocked in the Amber Market or DNA. Isn't that crazy? It's so random. Oh, no, no, well... There's T-Rex Gen 2 and Velociraptor Gen 2 used to not be able to do that, but now it can. Aero Titan, like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, it's so random. I do not know why, why they decided to do that. I think we're actually wrapping up here, and then we'll switch the clip of me actually winning the Gorgio at the end. I'm not going to put any commentary over it just because I kind of just want you guys to see it, but... And it's obviously not a live commentary, so yeah, you'll see it, and that'll be awesome. So, otherwise... Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Until then, I'll see you all next time. This is Jurassic Insider, signing out.